I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber and I hope its solution is going to benefit many of you. It is based on right by sector of chord. The question here is prove algebraically using right by sector method that circle x square plus y square equals to 9 indeed has center at origin. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let me discuss this strategy here. So, let me sketch the circle. So, we have this circle here, which is x square plus y square equals to 9. Now, x and y intercepts for the circle are going to be plus minus 3. The idea is to write down equations of right bisectors of uh, these chords. So we'll take one chord as the one shown in green. The other one, we can take another chord on the right side in quadrant one, let's say, which goes through X and Y intercepts as shown here. So once we have these two chords, then we'll find equation of their right bisectors so right bisector of this chord will go through the midpoint kind of like this. The right bisector of that will kind of go like this. And wherever they meet, that becomes the center. So this is the basic concept. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So that is what we really mean by saying that using right bisector method. Do you understand? So these are the two chords. These are the right bisectors. Point of intersection is the center. If that happens to be the origin, then origin is the center. Okay. So let's begin by finding x and y intercepts for our equation. So we'll find x intercept and we'll find y-intercept. So, when I say x-intercept, it means what? x-intercept really means that y-value equals to 0. And y-intercept means x equals to 0. Correct? That's what it means. So, in this equation x square plus y square, we have x square plus y square equals to 9. If I write y equals to 0, I get x square plus 0 equals to 9, x is equals to plus minus square root of 9, so we get x equals to plus minus 3. Okay? So those are the values of x intercept which we get. Now similarly, we can find the y intercept, right? So let's find the y intercept now. Placing x equals to 0, here, in this equation, we, get, we have x squared plus y squared equals to 9. x is 0, so we get y squared equals to 9. y is equals to plus minus square root of 9. So y is plus minus 3. Okay. So we get these two points. Is that clear? Okay. Let's uh, name them. So let us say that this point is uh, A for us. This is B. And let's say this is C. And let's call this point as O, origin. Now we will consider the chord, let's say AC. AC. So what is the slope of this chord, AC? So we'll find slope M of AC using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Coordinates of A and C are, let me write down here, coordinates of A is 0, 3, and that of C is minus 3, 0. Perfect. Okay. Substituting these values, we get 0, minus 3 divided by minus 3, minus 0. That is plus 1. So slope is plus 1 for C, A. Now, CA slope is 1, 
and we know y intercept is 3 right so and we know b is 3 for us so which is 0 3 and therefore equation of line so let's say line ca is uh, uh, we don't really need the equation let's find the midpoint of uh, let's find the midpoint right so let's call this midpoint as d okay so let's not do this let's find midpoint d so midpoint d will be we'll use the formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is it okay so coordinates for point d are uh, minus 3 plus 0 divided by 2 and uh, 3 plus 0 divided by 2 which are minus 3 over 2 and 3 over 2 correct so that becomes the midpoint d now we have to find equation of line perpendicular to ac is that okay so slope of perpendicular slope will be how much well the slope of the line was plus 1 right so perpendicular slope will be negative 1 equation of line d perpendicular to ca will be what so a line which is perpendicular to ca is what will be y equals to slope of minus 1 plus b to get the value of b we could always use the center point right center point is minus 3 over 2 and 3 over 2 so y value is 3 over 2 and we get minus of minus 3 over 2 plus b and that gives us as b equals to 0 is it okay that becomes positive b is 0 so from here what do we get okay let me rewrite here so what we get here is equation of of line perpendicular line I should say perpendicular I should say right bisector of AC or equation of right bisector of AC right so because it goes through the midpoint and it is perpendicular is y equals to minus x right so that becomes the equation of line going through d right now let us find do the all this same thing for a b is it okay so this is one conclusion which we have let me highlight this okay now we are going to consider chord a b midpoint is what midpoint of chord a b is coordinates of a is 3 0 right so a is i mean 0 3 coordinates of b is 3 0 correct so the midpoint here let's call this midpoint as e so e is equal to 0 plus 3 divided by 2 and 3 plus 0 divided by 2 so coordinates for e are 3 by 2 3 by 2 right now what is the slope of a b slope of a b is y2 minus y1 which is 0 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 0 which is negative 1 and therefore line perpendicular to a b slope will be equal to positive 1 right this slope is positive 1 now right bisector equation is what it will go through the point e which is 3 by 2 3 by 2 and is going to have a slope of 1 
and therefore the equation will be y equals to x plus b replacing y with 3 by 2 and x by 3 by 2 we get the value of b as equals to 0 and that makes this equation as y equals to x so now we have two equations two right by sectors what do we need to find now we need to find point of intersection for these two right by sectors is it okay so let's find point of intersection of the two lines to right by sectors so the equations being used are equation number one and equation number two y equals to minus x and y equals to x so if i equate them what do i get so i have y equals to minus x which is equals to x now that simply gives that x is equals to zero now if x is zero y is also zero so if x equals to zero y is also equals to zero so their point of intersection is origin right so we can say therefore point of intersection is zero zero so since the point of intersection of the chords is zero zero the center is at origin right so so that implies that center is at origin is that clear right so that is how you're going to solve this question so i hope all the steps are absolutely clear in this particular question you have to show that right bisectors of any two chords meet at a point and that point is the center of the circle and they meet at origin and then we conclude that center of the origin is indeed the center of the circle right so, so that's what it is so in our case as we have clearly seen the equation of right bisectors is y equals to minus x and y equals to x common point between these two is zero zero and therefore center of the circle is origin i hope you understand and appreciate the method followed here feel free to write your comments and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best